Good afternoon, Mark. We're standing outside the Charles T. Adams Active Adult Center in downtown Wilkesbury, a senior center. This center closed, as with 16 others, and will not open until January 4th. And many seniors tell me, as far as they're concerned, these centers are their lifeline to the community. 82-year-old Denise Juarez from Wilkesbury could not believe that her home away from home, the Adams Active Adult Center in Wilkesbury, will be closed for the next month and a half. I don't like to stay home. If, when they say uh, we close for January, uh, we close, we go back in January. I say, gee, what am I going to do? Bridget Perlowski from Hanover Township feels the same way. I don't like it, though. I like coming here for lunch and, you know, talking to Denise and all. You know, I like coming here for lunch and all, you know, but... We go do it's a COVID-19, you know. I like why I come here for lunch. But county officials say they had no other choice. Tony Mathis is the director of this center. I want the folks that come here to know that we will be checking up on you and that we care about you and if you have any questions you can give us a call and they're doing this for your safety as well as everyone else's safety with the numbers going up we knew it was a it was going to happen Martha says she knows that many seniors who live on fixed incomes count on the lunches and other meals that are served at these centers but those meals are still available if they are an active member at the senior at the active adult centers they can call us by Wednesday noon to let us know that they would like to order a frozen meal and they would receive seven meals for the entire week and they would pick them up on Monday at your local active adult center. Now, county officials say that even though the seniors cannot come inside this building, there will be somebody here at all 17 centers to answer the telephone if those seniors have any issues. Again, the doors open January 4th. Reporting live in Wilkesbury, Andy Mahal, Eyewitness News. Mark, back to you.